Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, George Sham Bariatrics and Metabolic Center is on the forefront of providing metabolic surgery for fighting the disease of type 2 diabetes and obesity. The surgical procedures, specifically the gastric sleeve and gastric bypass, are scientifically proven to improve diabetes in addition to providing a surgical tool for weight loss. I headed over to see Dr. Eric Smith to see what goes on and started with my first question, what education is involved prior to bariatric surgery? Take a look. So when the patients start the program, they will do a day's worth of classes with us at the beginning. They'll do a dietary class. They'll do a education uh, program with myself as well. And they'll really start talking about calorie intake, food choices, um, and from the very beginning, I will talk to them about exercise, how we define exercise. Um, it's all heart, heart rate based exercise and we'll instruct them on that. Um, and that will really get them started and many of those patients will do an additional six to seven months of dietary education leading up to when they can have surgery. Who and what type of education is given to the patients throughout their journey? The different types of education will come from dietitians, it will come from bariatric nurses, it will come from myself, it will come from my physician's assistant Heather who's been doing bariatric surgery care for over five years and all those classes and education will be based on what they can anticipate when they've had surgery but the most important thing prior to surgery is putting them in a position to where they'll be successful so setting appropriate habits for both diet and exercise prior to hitting their surgery date. So those habits have been changed before we do surgery. So let's talk about after the surgery. What type of education is done? So after the surgery, they will do, um, within the first week, they'll come in and they'll do about a half a day's worth of classes again. They'll meet with the dietitian. Hey, they've hit their first week. How you feeling? How is your fluid intake? How much protein are you getting in? And she'll do classes with them. I'll do a class with me as well. And then they'll see my PA again. And then after the surgery, from that point forward, we will see those patients one month after surgery, three months after surgery, six, nine, and 12 months after surgery. And in at least half of those appointments, they'll do additional dietary appointments that are scheduled. If they need the dietitian every time they come in, then they get her. So basically you're saying to me, the support throughout the weight loss journey is continual. Absolutely. I mean, the surgery is obviously important and getting good outcomes from surgery, but that's a, that's a component of their success. If we do surgery and we kind of turn them loose, they're not going to be successful, and we know that. So what's even more important is the consistent follow-up that they have with us on a fairly frequent basis that first year and then for life thereafter. What accountability do the patients have throughout this journey? And that's a good question and a lot of it depends upon them. So when I gave that, um, that example of the first year when they're basically seeing us at least every three months if not more frequently, after that first year some basic medical checks are less frequent. So lab work may not need to be done as frequent. But what I tell the patient is you gotta tell me what you need. In other words, how much accountability do you want from us? Some patients don't want to go after that first year to only seeing us every six months to do a weigh-in. And so even though I may not need to do lab work on them, it, I tell them if you need to come in every three months, forever. If you want to meet with the dietitian every three months, forever. If you just want to come in and weigh in and then meet with the dietitian maybe every six months, you tell us what you need. We'll tell you what you need to stay safe but you tell us what you need and we encourage them to continue seeing us at least every three to four months if it's not for anything but just to come and weigh in to have that accountability so they can sit down with us and I always tell people don't wait till a problem arises don't wait till five to ten pounds have crept back let's meet with you frequently so we can stay on top of things you do classes before you do surgeries tell us a little bit about that so yeah, so when patients are scheduled to have surgery, meaning their, their insurance has approved it, they've gone through this six, seven month process, this is a pretty exciting day for them. And so on that day, we're gonna do a class just from me that'll be about an hour and a half. And I literally will explain to them everything that they can expect leading up to surgery, how, what I expect to them to prepare for surgery, what they'll expect when they come into the hospital, how long they'll be there, every single medication that they will receive, every sign or symptom that they'll experience that's normal, but may be abnormal to them because they've never had this surgery before. And we'll go through that in detail. 
I show them video clips of the surgery, how we do it, why we do it that way, and why it's been so successful for us doing it that way. And then I'll summarize in that class that first year of how frequent their visits are, who they'll be meeting with, and what things that they need to let us know about that maybe they don't see as an issue to stay on top of things. Well, Dr. Eric Smith has performed well over 1,000 of these procedures and is a leader in the country when it comes to these type of procedures. Information up on your screen right now. If you want to find out more, head over to the website, guys. It's really fabulous. There's a lot of information on there if you are concerned about your weight and you really don't know what else to do. Give them a buzz. Hey, we'll be right back after this short break, everyone.